Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, professional talk of director IIM Bangalore on towards becoming leader in steel industry and beyond, organized for senior officers of Rockilla Steel Plant. SAIL RSP Cycling Team shines at the 4th edition Golden Triangular Cycling Championship 2022. Workshop organized for members of Town Official Language Implementation Committee. Srijani function organized for employees of Power Distribution Department. Sale Rockla Steel Plant signs MOU with Consortium of Messrs SMS for installation of fourth slab caster and ladle furnace at SMS2. Project Garima of Sale RSP hones the creative skills of the women through embroidery training for economic empowerment. Safety is a journey, not a destination. Keep strengthening the systems to make RSP an incident-free plant. Exhort the Palan of Judges for Safety Excellence Award to RSP Collective. Together we will make every possible effort to bring further glory for our Karma Bhumi Rockla Steel Plant. Exhort Mr. Atanu Bhumik, Director in Charge to Employees. Assessment for Safety Excellence Award commences at Sail Rockla Steel Plant. First Surveillance Audit ISO 9001 S2 2015 QMS held at Sale RSP for Personal and Finance and Accounts Department. Sale Rockula Steel Plant has impressive teamwork, capability, metrics, and product basket, says important customer. Srijani program organized for employees of Town Engineering Department. Timely monitoring and maintenance by Cal Signing Plant Collective helps in sustained equipment availability and production performance. Brahma Kumari Shivani addresses the healthcare professionals of sale Rokla Steel Plant on the theme Service with Smile. Now the news in detail. Professor Rishikesh Krishnan, Director and Professor of Strategy, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, delivered a professional talk on towards becoming leader in steel industry and beyond for senior officers of sale Rockilla Steel Plant on 18th February 2022 through virtual mode. Mr. A.K. Kundu E.D. Mines, Mr. S.R. Shuryavansi E.D. Works, Mr. A.K. Pradhan E.D. Projects, Mr. P.K. Satpati E.D. P&A, Mr. C.R. Mopatra C.G.M. in charge M.M. and Marketing, Mr. A.K. Behuria C.G.M. in charge F&A and about 150 senior officers including Chief General Managers and Heads of Departments attended the session. Professor Rishikesh Krishna lucidly elaborated on the theme through examples of various leading industries and companies who managed to achieve in manufacturing and supply chain management. Laced with interesting case studies and management principles, the talk navigated through several areas of operations of a massive manufacturing unit right from business continuity and contingency plan, risk assessment, scenario planning, Capitalization of Virtual Intelligence, Adoption of Industries, 4.0 Collaborations with Academia and Corporate to Building Network, Vendor Development and Environment Friendly Production. Focusing on the importance of a culture of innovation, Professor Krishnan stressed on harnessing the employee creativity and developing an entrepreneurial mindset for sustainability and bridging the gap created by an increasingly turbulent world. In the interaction session that followed the talk, several senior officers came forward to discuss many relevant issues pertaining to RSP in the field of finance, technological interventions, materials management, environment management, employee engagement, people management, etc. Ms. Rashi Banerjee, CGM HRD, welcomed the gathering and also coordinated the program. 
The cycling team of Sale Rockilla Steel Plant has brought laurels to the city by becoming the champions of the 4th edition Golden Triangular Cycling Championship 2022, an annual event organized by Bhubaneswar Cycling and Adventure Club. The path charted for the purpose covered a total distance of 151 km starting from Bhubaneswar to Puri and Konark and back. Mr Vinil Krishna IAS Secretary Sports and Youth Affairs graced the prize distribution ceremony as chief guest and presented the trophies medals and cash awards to the winners present on the occasion were Mr Sanjeev Panda ADG Crime Branch and President of BCAC Mr Anand Patnaik Circle Head HDFC Bank and Ms Minati Mohapatra Arjun Awardee for Cycling RSP shown at the event by winning both the gold and silver medal Mr Rohit Hembram clocked 4 hours 39 minutes and 34 seconds to win the gold medal for the fourth time in a row a trophy and a cash award of rupees 1 lakh while Mr Shakshat Patra clocked 4 hours 41 minutes and 16 seconds at the finishing line to bag the silver medal accompanied with a trophy and a cash award of rupees 50000 notably both the cyclists are being coached by Mr Sushil Das of RSP It is worth mentioning here that more than 75 professional cyclists from Bhubaneswar, Katak, Raurkela, Jamshedpur, Kolkata, Bengaluru participated in this thrilling event. An online workshop was organized for the members of Town Official Language Implementation Committee on 17 February. Ms. Archana Satpathi, DZMPR and COC, RSP and Member Secretary Tolik presided over the meeting. Mr Nirmal Kumar Dubey assistant director Rajbasa implementation ministry of home affairs government of india kolkata was the guest speaker around 25 members from different government organizations public sector undertakings banks and insurance companies of rakhila participated in the session mr dubey deliberated upon the theme operational modalities of rajbasa quarterly report He highlighted the various provisions on the different sections of the Rajbasa directives. He also emphasized upon the need of bilingual websites of organizations, proper documentation, enrichment of Rajbasa library, and engagement of member organization on a regular basis through different programs for strengthening the group and keeping alive the Rajbasa connect. He urged all to make the best possible use of the different digital tools and technologies for promotion of rajbhasha the session was followed by an open house discussion where doubts were clarified and views and suggestions were put forward by the members at the outset ms archana satpati welcomed the gathering and ms lolati topo rajbhasha adhikari coordinated the event A Srujani function was organized for the employees of Path Distribution Department at RNC Lab Conference Hall on 16 February 2022. Mr M K Mahanti CGM Electrical presided over the function and handed over the awards to the winners of Srujani Award scheme. Present on the occasion were Mr M K Bhaskaran GM in charge PD, Mr M S Mangar DGM ID and other officers and employees of the department. In all 52 suggestions were awarded of which 32 suggestions have already been implemented cash award to the tune of rupees 7950 was disbursed directly to the bank accounts of the recipients more than 60 suggestions were generated in the srijani mela organized on the occasion mr mangar presented a brief on the overall status of srijani in the department The program was coordinated by Mr R R Kumar GM PD. A contract was signed between Sale Rockilla Steel Plant RSP and Consortium of Messrs SMS India Private Limited and Messrs SMS GmbH Germany on 16 February 2022 for installation of fourth slab caster and ladle furnace at steel melting shop 2 that is SMS 2. Mr A K Pradhan ED projects represented RSP while measures SMS was represented by Mr Ramis Aya executive director SMS India private limited in the signing of the contract that was held at the projects conference hall Mr PK Sahu CGM projects commercial Mr RK Patra CGM SMS 
Mr. S. Pal Chaudhary, CGM in charge instrumentation and automation and other senior officers of RSP and Mrs. SMS were present on the occasion. Notably, there are three basic oxygen furnaces and three continuous casters are there in RSP. With the addition of a new caster with 1 million ton per annum capacity, the production of crude steel from SMS2 will further increase. Besides, it will also enhance the flexibility in operation of SMS2 in terms of availability of casters and grades of steel to be cast. Another highlight of the project is that the fourth slab caster will be capable of producing value-added steel like American Petroleum Institute, grade steel, extra deep drawing steel, etc. The new slab caster 4 project to be implemented at an expenditure of rupees 792.58 crore will be located next to the existing slab caster 2 of SMS2. There will be no fresh acquisition of land for installation of the facility. Project Garima undertaken by Corporate Social Responsibility of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant under its Women's Empowerment Initiative has successfully entered the second month of its training module based on honing the embroidery skills of the women of industrial slums. Ten women including adolescent girls and teenagers from Santi Nagar Basti are undergoing the training program at Institute of Peripheral Development of CSR Department. The enthusiasm and keen interest of the women to learn the craft is obvious from the statements. Embroidery has been my hobby and I am further improving my skills through this training so that I can add to my family income through this, says Ms. Sunaina Sahu, a trainee. Similarly, Ms. Sujata Sahu, another beneficiary, says, I want to learn and then train others. During the pandemic, when the source of income was greatly hampered, the Garima initiative of RSP is trying to bridge the gap by providing additional skills for supplementing the family income. In the first month of training, the participants have been trained in back stitch, running stitch, straight stitch, French knot stitch, satin stitch, feather stitch, bullion knot, chain stitch, stem stitch, kantha stitch, mirror work, lazy daisy, cross stitch and many more which they proudly display. The two month program aims at creating a hub for training of trainers and forming cooperative in the long run for sustainable livelihood by strengthening of linkages with government agencies for accessing supporting schemes and widening marketing projects. It also aims at greater market linkages and acceptability with established marketers and boutiques thereby establishing a strong value chain for the group of trainees. Safety is a journey, not a destination. Keep strengthening the systems to make Rorkala Steel Plant RSP an incident-free plant, exhorted the esteemed members of the panel of judges for a safety excellence award to the Raukla Steel Plant RSP Collective in the meeting with senior officers of the plant on 15th February. It is worth mentioning here that a high-level panel constituted by SAIL visited the steel plant on 14th and 15th February to assess the performance of the plant for the first safety excellence award instituted by SAIL. The members of the panel are Mr. G. S. Prasad, former CEO RSP, Mr. H. Chattopadhyay, former Director Safety, DGFA SLI Mumbai, and Mr. S. Vasisht, CGM Safety, Sales Safety Organization, Rachi. The meeting held at Manthan Conference Hall was attended by Mr. Atanu Bhomik, Director in Charge, Mr. A. K. Kundu, E.D. Mines, Mr. A. K. Pradhan, E.D. Projects, Mr. P. K. Satpati, E.D. P. and A, Mr. C. R. Mahapatra, CGM in Charge, M. M. and Marketing, Mr. A. K. Behuria, CGM in Charge, F. and A, and many other senior officers from different plant units. During the interactions, the panel of judges gave suggestions on how to further strengthen the safety net in the plant 
use of advanced technology in the field of safety as well as more effective training and employee engagement programs. Thanking the panel of judges, Mr. Atanu Bhomik said that RSP will work committedly on the issues raised by the visiting dignitaries so as to make the plant an accident-free workplace. At the outset, Mr. Asim Kumar Behera, CGM, Safety and Fire Services, welcomed the gathering. Earlier, an elaborate presentation on the overview of RSP and the salient points related to safety management, fire safety and occupational health service activities was made by Mr. Ricky Agarwal, AGM, LUHP, Mr. P. S. Thakre, DGM Fire Services and Dr. Tarunaditya Mishra, Additional CMO and in charge, Occupational Health Service Center, OHSC, in the meeting. A film, RSP, A Commitment to Atmanirbhar Bharat, made by Public Relations Department, was also screened on the occasion. The second day of the visit commenced with a visit to the Safety Training Hall of Projects Department and thereafter planted saplings at Shramik Smarak Udyan. The team visited different units of the plant including Safety Training Hall, OHSC, Hot Strip Mill 2, New Plate Mill and Plate Mill in the afternoon session on 14 February 2022. During the visit, the team met cross-sections of employees and contract workers to gauge their safety consciousness besides carrying out a comprehensive study of the safety systems of the plant. On 15th, a surprise accident preparedness mock drill was also conducted at the propane plant and the panel expressed satisfaction over the quick response of the team. Together, we will make every possible effort to bring further glory for our Karmabhumi Rockla Steel Plant, exhorted Mr. Atanu Bhomik, Director in Charge of Sale RSP, in his maiden interaction with the employees on 14th February after taking over the reins of the steel plant. Mr. A.K. Kundu, ED Mines, Mr. A.K. Pradhan, ED Projects, Mr. P. K. Satpati, EDP and A, all Chief General Managers, Heads of the Departments and about 600 employees including employees from the mines attended the session. It's an emotional moment for me to have rejoined my RSP family after almost two and a half years and I am feeling immensely delighted to become a part of this great team again said the DIC while commencing his address. Congratulating the RSP Collective on winning the Best Integrated Steel Plant of Sale Corporate Excellence Award, Mr. Bhomik said, This is not enough. Now we have to aspire to be the best in the country and thereafter to be the best in the world. Praising the significant achievements of the plant, in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, Mr. Bhomik stressed on making RSP a zero-accident steel plant. He urged all to take the onus and inculcate a safety culture and have zero tolerance to any unsafe act or operation. He also emphasized on having discipline in every endeavor, be it be equipment discipline, operational discipline or behavioral discipline. To sustain and survive in today's cutthroat business environment, it has become mandatory to be competitive in terms of quality, cost, product range and service, underscored the DIC. Speaking about the priority of RSP to make the steel plant a better place to work with 360 degree approach. In all the fields, he assured all support to the employees and said that he expects the same 100% from them. 
Mr. Bhomik also spoke about his focus on improving the quality of life of the employees and better facilities in the township as well as taking care of the well-being of the contract workers. During the interaction session, many senior officers as well as employees came forward and spoke about the various achievements and expectations of their respective departments. Mr. Bhomik discussed the issues threadbare and expressed the hope that in future too, the collective will continue to communicate their ideas, suggestions and constructive criticisms so that RSP can become a model steel plant in every respect. With the objective of further strengthening the safety systems and promoting healthy competition, Steel Authority of India Limited has launched a Safety Excellence Award amongst its integrated steel plants from this year. The panel of judges for the award has started the assessment of Rautla Steel Plant on 14th February. The team comprises of Mr. G. S. Prasad, former CEO RSP, Mr. H. Chattopadhyay, former Director Safety, D. G. F. A. S. L. I. Mumbai and Mr. S. Vashishtha, CGM Safety, SSO. The visit commenced from the model room of HRDC where the visiting dignitaries were briefed about the layout and overview of the plant. A safety film was also shown on the occasion. Thereafter, the panel visited the central fire station, coke oven battery 6, coal chemicals department, sintering plant 2, sintering plant 3, blast furnace 5, steel melting shop 2, safety training hall, occupational health center, hot strip mill 2, new plate mill, and plate mill. In each of the units, the team was received and briefed about the various safety procedures and process by the chief general managers and concerned HODs. Besides undertaking a comprehensive assessment of the safety net inside the plant, the team also interacted with employees and contract labor to check the efficacy of the system. At the safety training hall, the team was briefed about the various safety measures and undertaken in RSP for creating safe culture and practices. The two-day assessment would conclude on 15th February 2022. The first surveillance audit of ISO 9001 S2 2015 QMS of Personal and Finance Accounts Department of Sale Rockler Steel Plant was held on 10th and 11th February 2022. Mr. P.K. Satpati, EDPND presided over both the inaugural and closing sessions. Auditor, HODs and senior officials of concerned departments joined the meeting. Speaking at the concluding session, Mr. Satpati thanked the auditors for their valuable suggestions and findings for improving systems and the procedures of the plant. He assured the auditors and the shoes raised will be accordingly addressed. The auditor in turn thanked the collective for extending their cooperation and discussed at length the finding of the audit for further improvement. The audit was conducted by Mr. Surinder Kocher, lead auditor of Messrs. TUV. The scope of the audit included provision, personal services and maintenance of in-house accounts. The auditors went through the QMS objectives of RSP, MRM and internal audit record manuals and procedures different employee services and central maintenance, human resource management and training. From the finance side, the audit covered project finance and general maintenance of finance and accounts. The program was coordinated by Ms. Chaitali Das, CGM, B and IED. Sale envisages customer satisfaction as one of its most important factor for remaining afloat in the competitive market. It has been forming strategic alliances and partnership with reputed business conglomerates to extend its outreach in steel sector, both nationally as well as internationally. One such customer is Mr. Pavan Sharma, Product Application Manager from Tata International Limited, a member of well-acclaimed Tata Group and a premier trading and distribution company. During his recent visit to RSP, Mr. Sharma says, facilities at Rorkela steel plant are superlative and I have been quite impressed after visiting the hot strip mill 2 and new plate mill of RSP. The volume of production is astonishing and the product basket is amazingly varied. The quality which sale is offering at present is remarkable. Mr. Sharma also lauded the teamwork and support 
extended by production, planning and control, quality, research and control laboratory and other concerned departments to the customers. Mr. Sharma was on a short visit to RSP to gain first-hand knowledge of the product basket of RSP, its quality and other capability metrics for exploring the scope of business partnership. It is worth mentioning here that Tata International Limited has been presently lifting steel grades of 250 GIA S355 which are basically used in structural construction and bridges. After seeing the facilities and product range of RSP, the company now wants to focus on developing niche products for overseas market, which will add a huge margin to the present product basket. As far as volume is concerned, the volume and, and the sale which is, I mean the volume which sale is producing, it's, uh, it's quite astonishing, but uh, they are having maintaining a quality standard. So I am very happy for that. So on yesterday I visited uh, New Plate Mill and the HSM and uh, I am very amazed to see the product quality which uh, but sale is presently offering to their customers. Srijani program was organized for the employees of instrumentation department of sale Rockella steel plant at RNC lab, lab conference hall on 10th February 2022. Mr. M. K. Mahanti, CGM Electrical, handed over the awards to the winners of Srujani Award Scheme. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. C. Patra, GM Inchas, Instrumentation, Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM IED, Srujani Nodal Officer, Mr. Sanjeev Behra, Manager Personnel, other senior officers and employees of the department in strict adherence to the COVID protocols. In all, 187 suggestions were awarded of which 174 have already been implemented cash award, cash award to the tune of rupees 45150 was disbursed to the recipients bank accounts online one time benefit accrued from the implementation suggestion was rupees 1.15 crores and rec uh, recurring benefit amounted to rupees 77.5 lakhs Mr. B.K. Behra gave a brief about the status of Srujani Creativity Scheme in the department. More than 100 suggestions were generated at the Mela. Token gifts were given to each employee for their suggestions. Mr. S.K. Panda, AGM Instrumentation, coordinated the event, while Ms. Rosalind Das, Manager Instrumentation, proposed a formal vote of thanks. The commitment of the Kalsani Plant Collective of Sale Rokla Steel Plant has helped the unit register laudable performances in several areas of the work in the year 2021. It recorded the highest dispatch of 95,881 tons of minus 2 mm fines to Sintering Plant 3. The unit also successfully maintained uninterrupted supply of calcium lime and dolo to steel melting shop 2 and fines to Sintering Plant 2 and 3. The proactive monitoring and maintenance activities helped in achieving zero belt snapping in CP2 since last 12 months. Zero skip derailment for all the kilns and consistent equipment availability of 10 gas boosters and 50 process air blowers for all the six kilns. To improve the performance of the unit, several repair, maintenance and construction jobs were carried out which included construction of new motor house, erection of roof shed for the waste gas cleaning system of kiln 5 and kiln 6 and replacement of DC drive with VVVF drive and MBSV GLS luminars with LED luminars. Replacement of 400 meters of 200 MB mixed gas pipeline and reversal trap L bracket for both shafts. Provision of 5 ton winch in new blower house of lime kiln 5 and 6 for safe replacement of air blowers. Repair of gas fired kiln 4, 3, 2, 1 and 5 were some other important jobs carried out during the year. The minute planning, execution, monitoring, reviewing and timely corrective actions help the department in providing continuous support to the user departments for sustaining the production performance of the plant. In an online program organized on 10th February 2022, Sister Brahma Kumari Shivani, the renowned speaker from the Brahma Kumaris, addressed the Medical and Health Services Collective of Sale Rokla Steel Plant on the theme 
service with smile. A cross-section of employees from MNHS Department of ISCO Steel Plant also participated in the session. Mr. P. K. Satpati, EDP and A, Ms. Rajeshri Banerjee, CGM HRDC, Dr. B. K. Hota, CMO in charge of RSP along with senior doctors and officers of RSP and ISP attended the online program. In her address, Sister B. K. Shivani highlighted the need to increase the inner strength of each individual which will enable them to perform at higher levels. She said that a deeper and more profound meaning of the caption, service with smile, should be explored which starts from taking care of self. The medical fraternity should concentrate on the mental and emotional aspect of well-being which will enable them to take care of self, their family members, their colleagues and co-workers in the hospital and the patient and their near and dear ones in that order. They should practice as to how they can be reservoirs of positive energy and vibrations because positive energy leads to calmness and happiness. Sister B.K. Shivani also urged the healthcare professionals to be emotionally independent by steering away from emotional disturbances which are nothing but negative thoughts and feelings. Reiterating that the medical fraternity are ambassadors of health and happiness, she emphasized the need to make lifestyle changes in diet, exercises and sleep so that they can stay away from stress and anxiety. The program was coordinated by Ms. Rajeshri Banerjee, CGM HRDC, who also delivered the welcome address and proposed a formal vote of thanks. Mr. K.K. Jaiswal, AGM HRD, provided the technical support for smooth conduct of the meeting. That's all in this edition of Rockland News. Namaskar. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos.